The work begins in this sterile Vanderbilt tissue lab. The goal, to separate blood cells to find the best to make an Ebola fighting drug. We've spent years and years sort of fiddling with the conditions, the temperatures, the times, uh, the things that we add to help the cells grow. And we also have highly trained people here who are very meticulous and careful and gentle with the cells. All of those factors together have come together into a system that works for us. Once they find the Ebola antibodies, and they have found thousands, the unique system searches for the cells showing the most promise. There is no live Ebola virus at Vanderbilt. We're really the only lab that has a high efficiency technique for making cells like this with, uh, with human cells. Crow's work on Ebola antibodies began two years ago, well before the current African outbreak. I think one of the um, important lessons that we've learned is uh, to think ahead of these outbreaks. So. In our case, the National Institutes of Health and the Department of Defense were already funding us to work on germs like this, including Ebola and Marburg. And that funding helped speed up the search for an Ebola drug. What used to take us all day long, now uh, we can do 100 times that in an hour. So these instruments have, have greatly sped up the process. Crow says his team has found a few dozen strong Ebola-fighting antibodies. Some of them are fantastic. They're already the best antibodies that exist uh, in the field that we're aware of. And having 200 is, is about 100 times more than anyone else has ever gotten in a, in a study like this. So this is the largest collection, uh, and we seem to be getting the, the, the strongest antibodies that anyone's ever described. So uh, that's very exciting. In the world? In the world, yeah. Then the best Ebola fighting antibodies are stored at minus 80 and lower until they are sent to a biosafety lab for more testing. We're trying to compress all this down in the case of Ebola to about a year where we do discovery for four months, uh, testing for a few months, and then immediately go to the, um, the manufacturer as quick as possible. These Ebola antibodies are a short-term treatment. There is still no cure. Every day counts. I mean, we're pushing, pushing, pushing here. The hope is to have Crow's drugs in clinical trials in about a year. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer.